Uh, okay, if we get 1,200 subscribers, then I will read the entirety of the B movie script. <sighs> no. like jazz? informed that I think that we might not be able to uh, stream this after all uh, we might we might need to uh, change this I do apologize I researched this beforehand I thought this was a possibility to do due to this happening in the past but um Apparently that is not the case. I do apologize. So we're going to uh, change the scene real quick here. And um, yeah, we'll figure that out. <laughs> I can just show, I could just read, read the script. I'll read the whole fucking script. I'll fucking do it, dude. I'll fucking do it. I'll read that whole goddamn script. I swear to God. Just say the word, chat. And I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to fucking do it. Here we go. about the disruption from earlier um we will be continuing our our reading of the b movie script
It's number one, Star Wars. Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's the way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter at first. I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B, get back here. Stand back. Those are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all oh, life has value. Goodbye.
spiders. I know it's the oddest thing with the eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. So who is he? She's human. No, no, that's a bee law. You should, you wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers in the M80s, one eighth a stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stinging, striping, and that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat.
feelings about that. Follow for nudes. Thank you so much for the 300 bid donation. Thank you. We will now be continuing the script. A wiper triple blade. A wiper triple blade. Triple blade. Jump on. It's your only chance. Be. Why does everything have to be so dark on clean? How much do you? man. We're on our own. Every mosquito on its own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito. You in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. See mosquito. Smack. Smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a mob. Dragonfly. Mosquito girl. Don't want no mosquito. That's 
excuse me. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit.
Can we get a business in the chat for 
apologize. It's going to be a, one second to find where we were currently. Oh, wait. Okay, we're going to start off here. Then, if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Vanessa is on the aisle. Barry is on the laptop calculating flowers, pollen, number of bees, airspeed, etc. He does a stomp dance on the keyboard. Can you believe how lucky we are? We just have enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work, Vanessa. It's gotta work. <laughs> Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. I'm afraid we have a bit of bad weather in the New York area, and it looks like we're going to be experiencing a couple of hours delay. <laughs> Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I've got to get up there and talk to these guys. Be careful. Barry flies up to the cockpit door. <laughs> There's a knock at the door. <laughs> hey, can I get some help with this Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable travel pool filter. Excuse me. Angela opens the cockpit door and looks around. She doesn't see anybody. Excuse me, Captain. I am in a real situation here. What did you say, Hal? I didn't say anything. He sees Barry. Ah, B. No, no, don't freak out. There's a chance my entire species taking off his earphones. Ah. The pilot grabs a dust buster vacuum cleaner. He aims it around trying to vacuum up Barry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
The wings are too small. Their bodies are too big. Hey, hold on a second. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and the body mass doesn't make sense. Get this on the air. You got it. An engineer throws a switch. Stand by. We're going live. The on-air sign illuminates. The news report plays on TV. The ball and jocks are sitting around a plane paddle ball. Wheelow. And one of them is spinning his helmet on his finger. Buzzwell is in office cubicle. In a office cubicle. Playing computer solitaire. Barry's family and Adam watch from their living room. B is sitting on the street curb. Turn around to watch the TV.
you so much for gifting Mighty Miles, Ganja Monster, Father A, Tiki, Dipper, Dip, Dips, Zoid, into our beehive. Thank you so much. Guys, that's... I apologize about that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Patty, for, for bringing in five people. I appreciate that greatly. That's really nice of you. Thank you for the eight dollars and forty cents. Ah, uh, you know what it is. Everything I do, I do it big. Screaming, that's nothing. What I pulled out of the lot, that's stunting. Repping my town. When you see me, you know everything. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Thank you very much for the eight dollars and forty cents. Yes. No high five. Right. Barry. 
flower? Did, did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the giant flower. That was genius, man. Genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Barry flies up to the wing of the plane and addresses the bee crowd. Listen, everyone. This runaway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. So what do you all say? Are we going to be bees or just museum of natural history keychains? We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Except that one guy who said keychain. Hold on, Barry. You've earned this. Buzz puts a ball in chalk jacket and helmet with Barry's name on it. On Barry. I'm a ball in jock. Looking at the jacket, the sleeves are a little long. And it's a perfect fit. All I've got to do are the sleeves. The ball and jocks toss Barry a gun. Oh, yeah. Angle on Martin and Jeanette Benson. That's our Barry. All the bees descend upon the flowers on the tarmac and start collecting pollen. <sighs> the squadron flies over the city, repollinating trees and flowers as they go. Barry breaks off from the group towards Vanessa's flower shop. Barry repollinates Vanessa's flowers. Angle on Timmy with a frisbee as the bees fly by. Mom, the bees are back. Onyx is back to normal and everything is busily working. Adam putting his gremlin hat on. If anyone needs to make a call, now's the time. I've got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. The bees cheer. <laughs> with a new sign out front, Vanessa and Barry flowers honey with legal advice. Vanessa doing a brisk trade with customers. Vanessa is selling flowers in the background. There are shelves stocked with honey. Don't forget these. Have a great afternoon. Yes, can I help? Who's next? Who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It is B approved. Sign on the back room door reads, Barry Benson, insects at law. Camera moves on into the back room. Angle on Barry. Angle on Barry. Cow, Barry's cow client. Milk. Cream. Cheese. It's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Breaking down. <laughs> Sorry, have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate here will be able to help you. Moose blood enters. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too. Ma'am, I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Angle on a flower counter. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order for a wedding and I can't get them anywhere. Not a problem, Fanny. Just leave it to me. Vanessa turns back to deal with the customer. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? Who's next? Angle on. Vanessa smiling back at Barry. Barry smiles back too, then snaps himself out of it. <laughs> Speaks into his antenna. All right, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. Ken and Andy walking down the street. Noticing the new sign. Ah, oh, what in the world? It's that bee again. Guiding Ken protectively. Let it go, Kenny. That bee is living my life. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. They don't break stride. Angle on. Camera in front of Barry as he flies out the door and up into the sky. Pollen jocks fold in formation behind him as they zoom into the park. To splits. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of the office. Fade out. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the reading of the script B-movie. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you.
Tschüss.